Hi friends, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. This is part 39 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create or replace global temporary views in PySpark using create or replace global temp view function. In our previous video, we have discussed about how to create or replace temp views and we have already said that that temp views are session level that means within the session only you can access but this global temp views actually can be accessed across the sessions within the spark application so whenever you create one notebook in in databricks and then when you start writing spark code so it is like one session let's assume you created another notebook attached with the same cluster then it is like a another session so i don't go deep into it but understand that notebook 1 this is notebook 2 this is and this is also connected to this cluster a b c d maybe and this is also connected to the same cluster uh, running some jobs so this notebook 1 will have a different session like session 1 maybe this notebook 2 has a different session like session 2 maybe so if i create one temporary view here then within that session it will be available you cannot access that here same way if i create a session here then within here i can access it i cannot access it here but if i create a global temporary view then that can be accessed on across the sessions within the same spark context or same spark application when i practically show you that you will make more sense of it let's go to our uh, browser here i have already opened my databricks workspace so here what i will be doing it here is let's try to create one notebook and let's name it maybe notebook 1 python is a default language let it be let's hit create button to create this notebook so let me close this pop up here so for example we can use a scala code here to see the session details so spark dot uh, session details so as i mentioned in the in the powerpoint presentation when you use this spark keyword in the scala code then you will get a session id actually so let me practically show you that so let me hit shift enter to execute this code and if you see here we got spark session id so you can think like this is the session id so for notebook one this is the session id so here i used this magic command percentage scala because my notebook is a python language notebook and here i want to write a scala code so that's why before writing code i used this magic command to say that it's a scala code so key thing to observe is this session id now let's try to do one more thing let's try to create another notebook and this may be notebook 2 same python same cluster so let me hit create button so now if you see notebook 1 is in this tab and it is now creating notebook 2 so let's wait for notebook 2 to get create here and here let's try to take the same code copy and here let's try to use the same code now let's try to run this by hitting shift enter now if you closely observe the session id for notebook 2 is different you can see here 279270f6 but the session id in notebook 1 is different that means both these notebooks are running on a same cluster that means you can think like a same spark application but it this notebook has a different session and this notebook has a different session okay so now we are successfully created two different sessions why i created is when i practically demonstrate how the global temp views can be accessed to make you a sense like it is accessible across the sessions let me do one thing so in our previous videos what we did we created a temporary data frame so let me do the same thing so i am creating a data frame here uh, so let me quickly create id name and wafa and here schema variable so id column then name column then finally spark dot create data frame function i am passing my data and schema so this will store in a data frame called df so finally what i can do data frame dot show to show the data frame actually so let's wait and see whether our data frame will get print here or not so once the data frame get print you can see data frame is getting printed now what i will be doing in our previous videos what we did i created a temporary variable say global create or replace 
temp view so i am naming like emp okay so let me hit shift enter now to run this code and you can see my code executed now let's try to write a sql code and i can do select star from emp so when i hit shift enter even this code will run okay so now this temporary view or table created with this name but this will be available within this session if i take this same code and if i go to notebook 2 and if i execute it here by hitting shift enter it will give me error saying table or view is not found why because as i said this uh, table is available within the session because it is created using create or replace temp view function not using create or replace global temp view function and as the name says it will either create a temp view with this name or it will replace it so now let me do one thing let's try to use create or replace global temp view and then this time maybe emp global this is the name i want to give and let me hit shift enter to execute this code so this global temp view is created now that means this temp view should be accessible across the sessions now here what i will be doing is i am going to run select star from global emp global when i hit shift enter still here also it will throw the error why because when you create global temp views this is very important thing you should use the namespace name then the table name all the global temp views will be created in global underscore tmp namespace so global underscore tmp dot then your global temp view name so when i hit shift enter now now i should be able to see that and the same code if i copy here and if i go to notebook 2 and if i run here even here also i should be able to run that code so when i hit shift enter i should be able to access the data even here also why that is happening so i created global temp view in notebook 1 in notebook 2 also i am able to access that means global temporary views are accessible across the sessions okay and second thing if you want to know like uh, where uh, what and all global temporary views are right now available in my code or in my spark application and all then you can start writing your code like this spark dot catalog will give you the catalog information on top of that that means the application information on top of that you can use this list tables function to list down the tables so to the list tables i am passing my global temp uh, database name or namespace name so that i can view my global temporary tables also so let me practically show you that i am going to notebook one so here what i can do firstly spark dot catalog dot there is something called current database so this will give current database name that means current session database you can think like that so it's called default right so now what i can do spark dot catalog dot list tables there is something called a list tables function to that i can pass my current database name to see the temporary views within the session so if i run this i can see emp previously i created this which will be available only in the notebook one session so if i want to see like a global tables as well then use this name as well global temp as a database name so when i hit shift enter you can see my global table also listed here so i can take this code i can go to notebook 2 even i can run here as well here as well i can see that global table which is inside this namespace okay so i hope you got an idea what is global temp view how to create it and if you want to drop them either it can be global temp view or normal temp view which will be available within the session then that is very easy actually so there is something called a uh, uh, drop uh, temp view or drop so you can see here itself right so let me on top of this park dot catalog there is something called drop global temp view or global temp view so you can use these functions both of these functions to drop the temp views okay so i'm not going to explain that in practical so this is a small thing you can try so for this temp view you can pass your view name so emp global is my view name so you can pass it it will drop that global temp view okay so that's it in this video i hope you got an idea like uh, what is global temp view 
and the difference between global and session level temp use. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.